Hello there, this is Raylene Ball, and today I'm going to do a little quick tutorial on FODE. So that's F-O-D-E-Y, as you can see on my screen here, and it's a newspaper clipping image generator. So what um, you do is uh, you would insert text, and it will generate a mock newspaper clipping. Now, it's not a full newspaper, it's just a clipping, but it's still pretty good if, for example, you want to um, have students read a passage and probably highlight the main points. Um, so what I've done with this particular tool, for example, in social studies when they're learning about you know, British North America and then how a confederation came about and we're looking at New Brunswick and Nova Scotia and the reasons for and against them joining confederation. So that's what I had them do. You know, have a newspaper clipping from back at that time, make one, like generate one. They had to date it for the, you know, the time of uh, that they were looking at, for example, in, you know, 1867 or whatever. And they had to include in their newspaper article um, the reasons for and against Confederation and the ultimate decision. But they had to write it as an actual newspaper article with a headline and, you know, write it like it was some exciting news story that was happening at that time and that they were witnessing it as it happened. And kids really enjoyed this particular activity. Something else you can use this for is if you are looking at scientific discoveries, for example. Um, I don't know, for example, grade 8 optics, you look at um, Mickelson and his, you know, discovery the speed of light. So you might want to assign students different scientific discoveries and then they, you know, they date their newspaper for the time that that had happened and write it as if they were there witnessing what was happening. So that's another idea. <clears throat> so you go to fody.com and here's the page here. So you look underneath, so this is a sample right here of a generated news clipping. So the name of the newspaper, so you put in uh, your name of the newspaper. The only thing is it's not going to come out all up here. It's going to get cut off. So, you know, if you're going to use this with students, tell them not to make their title too long. So I'm just going to go Web 2.0. would be good if I said There we go. Tools. So just say something like that. And the date, I'll date it for today. Oops data for today. Let's try that again. Oops, the odds of March. And then my headline, just say I'll say Fody is fun. And so then I would enter my story, so I'll just type one line. Fody is a great web 2.0 tool that students can use to generate newspaper articles it can be used in a variety of subjects. I'll just leave it at that for now. Exclamation mark. And I'll go Fody is fun. Yay. Okay. So there's my name in my newspaper. There's my date. My headline. I entered my story. Uh, they do mention here, do not use the name of real newspapers or persons if you can avoid it. So what I'll do now is I'll hit generate. And there's my article. Okay, so there's Fody's phone. Looks like a, a you know, folded up newspaper. Um, you can't get a lot of text on it. You can probably only get a couple of paragraphs. But like I said, it, it's really good if you had students, like for example, if you were doing lang language. And you had them read... Um, a page in a novel or something like that and you want to get them to draw out the main points of what they read. Well, this might be a way to do that. Um, you know, they could, as they read a section, they could haul out the main points and then make a newspaper clipping of the main points of what they just read. So, because it doesn't give you a lot of text, it's really good for really highlighting the important parts. And the same with, you know, like I said, the, the one we did about um, social studies. You know, some of those um, some of those colonies had a lot of reasons for and against. So what I had told them to do was, you know, pick out the main ones, pick out the ones that were, you know, strongest, and include them. Um, you know, what they deemed to be the strongest. So it's um, it's really neat, and they really like seeing it. Another cool thing you can do is that you can actually download the image. So when I 
did this with the students. Um, I had them, I created a folder, um, what we have in our schools called a P drive, and so I created a folder uh, for social studies and then the students saved their JPEG into my folder and that, that way I can go back after and I can grade what they have done. So again, it's just a cute little thing, um, you know, whether or not it would take you the whole class if you you know, incorporated the actual reading of the text. Depends too on your learners. If you have learners that um, it's a challenge for them to read long passages, you know, you might want to chunk this up if you have a group who are really strong who could read the passage then do this. You know, it's totally up to you how to use it. That's just how I used it, but it is a neat little tool. Students really enjoy seeing um, their newspapers. They come up with very creative titles for their newspapers. And unfortunately, it doesn't always come out, but it's pretty neat what they are able to generate. So I just figured I'd pass it along. Uh, very simple and easy to do. And like I said, you can then after just save it. It'll you know ask you to um, you know where you want to save it and that too. And uh, you get a record then of the student's work. And then you can actually then use this in uh, years after that to just show as examples for other students. All right. Well, thank you very much for tuning in, and I hope you find this tool useful for you. Okay. Goodbye.